Hi guys, with the Switch only being a little over a month away, and me obviously being very excited for this system. Holy shit! Holy shit! There have inevitably been some questions, hey, are you gonna get Switch day one? Did you pre-order the Switch? You know, what are you gonna be play first? Gonna play Zelda Breath of the Wild, you know, day one? No, definitely not. I did not pre-order a Switch, not getting it day one. I'm very excited for it, but I have a pretty hard and fast rule with new consoles, especially with the last couple gens, where I do not buy a console until it's been out for at least a year. Consistently, and particularly as you get into the 7th and 8th gen, launch models of systems, I just do not trust the quality of them, to be honest. I, I, there's always seems to be some sort of issue, a new version of the console, or just a couple little tweaks here or there. Something comes along the line within a first year or two where they're far more reliable to get the same exact thing a little bit later. And then when I actually go and get a console, there have been a year or two worth of releases to choose from to you know pick and build my library even before I grab the system itself. So when I get it and open it up, I have a ton of choices of what to play. And that goes into you know, games too. A lot of modern games I hold off and don't buy for quite a while because, you know, I don't want to go pay $60 for a game that already, uh, you know, put it in and there's a day one patch. I, I abhor the idea of a day one patch. It, it's absolutely ridiculous to me that whatever is on the game should be the game, it should be complete, and I shouldn't have to download anything to play the game properly without some sort of bug fixes. And on top of that, you know, go and pay $60 for a game that two years later you get the exact same thing plus two years worth of DLC for like 40 bucks when a Game of the Year edition comes out or something along the line or a new version. You know, I didn't get Mario Kart 8 and now Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just a couple years later is going to be coming out and it's going to have all that DLC plus extra content. I mean, that type of thing. So really, as video games have gone along, I've been more and more wary of purchases, not just as far as whether or not I'll like a system or a game, but whether or not I'm actually going to get the full product sitting on a disc or a card, or, you know, will the system work right out of the box, you know, that type of thing. And I'm more wary of quality when things are first released. I, there's a huge issue, in my opinion, with things coming out broken and, and buggy and it seems to be a waste of money to me to get things right off the bat. And aside from all those issues, the other thing too, I'm just not super excited for the launch lineup of the Switch. Uh, Zelda looks great, but I'm not the hugest Zelda fan, so I'm not gonna buy a system right away and get rid of all those uh, you know thoughts of not getting a system just for a game like that. Most of the stuff I'm interested in the Switch isn't coming out until a little bit later this year or 2018. So it's no problem with me, you know, for me holding off, I definitely think it's something that I can wait to get.